Hi everybody, this is Finn, and in this tutorial I am going to give you a quick rotoscoping exercise. Let's start by pressing Create New, and let's go with our standard preset, which is 640 pixels by width and 480 pixels by height. Press Create. The first thing we want to do is import our video to our timeline. To do that, go to File, Import, and then you want to select the fourth option, Import Video. It's going to ask you where is your video file? It is on your computer. Um, I have my video saved. I basically took it on my phone um, using my camera, and then I sent it to myself via email. So. It's on your computer, but you also want to make sure that you are selecting this third option here under on your computer, which says embedded H.264 video in timeline. Design time only. The video cannot be exported. That's okay. Now over by file path, there's this button that says browse. Click that and then find your MP4 file. Mine's right here and I will click next. It's going to place the instance on the stage. It's going to expand the timeline, and I'm going to deselect and uncheck this include audio box because there is no audio in our video. Let's click next and then finish. I'm going to click up here on this drop down menu and press show all. As you can see, we definitely need to adjust, so I'm going to move it so that th my hand is at the center of the stage. Our video is still a little too big, so I'm going to scale it down. Oh, I want to hold shift, make sure that I'm scaling it down correctly. And now I'm going to play the timeline so that you can see what the video I took is. And now I see one problem. The thumb cuts out a little bit there. We want to make sure that it doesn't do that. So let's scale a little bit more. move down and let's press play and I'm gonna move it a little bit up there we go that's exactly how I want it now I'm going to rename this layer by double clicking and naming it video reference and I'm going to lock it by clicking this little icon of a lock then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to name it Rough Animation. Let's start with our first frame. I want to go down to our video reference layer and right click on it. Then we want to go to our layer properties by clicking properties. Then we want to change our visibility to being 50% opacity. There we go. Now make sure that you are selecting the rough animation layer and let's get drawing. I'm going to select my line tool and the first thing I want to do is outline the palm. I'm going to start with big shapes and then we're going to expand to the fingers. I'm going to make sure my line is bigger than it is right now. Not that big. Not that big. There we go, that's about what I'm looking for. So I'm going to create kind of a boxy shape here. I'm going to drag a line using my line tool. Then I'm going to use the free transform tool, hover over the center of the line until I see this little curve icon. Then I'm going to click and drag that up. Now I'm going to create another line. One going down here. We want one here by the wrist. I'm going to get my free transform tool and adjust those. I'm going to add a curve to that one. There we go. It's definitely starting to become the shape of the palm. Now let's take the line tool and add a line here. And now we are going to 
create a line going around the thumb and curve it this way. And now let's connect this um, shape here by connecting these two lines. Now we are going to make the fingers by just tracing lines along the shape of the fingers. Very easy. Now let's outline the fingers. And let's create the curve of the fingertip. There we go. We've got the pinky down and we're gonna do the other fingers just like that. I'm using just a mouse to do all of this. All right, now that we have the fingers done, I'm just going to quickly add lines for the rest of the arm. And that is just a very quick outline of a hand. Now let's hide the layer that we were just drawing on and we are going to find out how much space we need until we create a new keyframe. Let's click our blue scrubbing tool and drag I think that for the next frame we should put the blank keyframe one, two, three frames after the first. So make sure you are on keyframe number four. Right click and then insert blank keyframe. Of course, your video will be different, so you are going to have to look and try to see how much motion goes by and how much motion can you um, capture to create the illusion of this video. We are essentially going to recreate the video using about half of the frames that the video actually captures. So let's start outlining our second frame. Make sure that your uh, layer is not hidden anymore. You cl click this little eye. And let's start again with our line tool. And I'm going to start the same process by creating a line going across the top of the palm. Now I'm going to outline the thumb.
Looks like I didn't add enough lines there. So I'm going to press Control Z. And now the fingers. And now we're just going to add the lines of the arm. And let's hide the reference video layer by clicking this checkered box um, under the show or hide all layers tool. And now let's scrub back and forth between the first and second frame and see how we feel about it. It's hard to tell with just two frames because you really need multiple frames to be able to get the sense of the motion, but for now, I'd say it looks good. Let's move on. Let's turn the reference video back on by showing the layer. Let's go about two more frames forward, and then right click and insert a blank keyframe. Now, as you can see, the finger is actually bending forward. So I am going to create a line right here to be the tip of the finger. Once again, let's hide our video reference and let's scrub on our timeline. Not bad at all. There are a couple of things that I can see here that I would like to tweak.
There we go. Now let's find our next keyframe. Let's hide the rough animation layer and unhide the video reference layer. I'm going to go about two more frames ahead. Insert blank keyframe. Make sure that you unhide your rough animation layer and that you're selecting it. And then I'm going to start with the top of the palm again. Let's select this line that we just overlapped and press delete on our keyboard to delete it. Now I'm going to hide the video reference layer. There we go. So we're starting to get some smooth motion here. Now I'm going to reveal my video reference layer again. I'm going to hide my rough animation layer. And then I'm going to go three frames in and insert a blank keyframe. This time I am going to start with the fingers because there is not much of the palm to see. I'm hiding my video reference layer again, and let's look. I just noticed I missed a line right, right here. So I'm just gonna quickly add it. Very good. We are going to go three frames after that keyframe. One, two, three. 
and then we're going to right click and insert blank keyframe All right, now let's see how that looks. With that, I'm actually going to cut that animation short since we finally got to the thumbs up motion. That's where we were trying to get to. I'm going to select the rest of the frames and press remove frames. And this is our very short rotoscope exercise. And we've got a hand doing a thumbs up. As you can see, um, making very simple outlines with the line tool and then smoothing, smoothing them out, that is a great way to capture the motion of a video. After this, you could take it to a finalizing stage where you maybe redraw it in a different style or you just focus on coloring it the way you want to, but this is something you could use when creating an animation and it doesn't need to stop here. This is just the outline that you can um, do whatever you want to at this point. You can export these frames. This could be your animation alone. Uh, this is a great practice just to learn how um, to do certain gestures like this. Thank you so much. Um, I encourage you to find a short video online or to create a short video of your own, something that is one or two seconds long, something very, very short something that you could um, recreate this exercise with um, on your own. Thank you and have a wonderful day.